So what happens when interest rates rise 1%? Great question, get asked this question a lot. Now, I want to do an analysis here to show you what will happen if interest rates go up 1% or 2 or 3% and how it will affect your life. Now, people, if you're purchasing property as negative geared, and what I mean by that, the property is not the income of the property, so the rental income that you're generating from that property is not covering the rates, the mortgage, the the your, um your insurance, etc., and you have to outlay money to contribute to pay for these expenses. That means it's negative geared. So let's first touch on positive geared. So positive geared is that the property will generate positive cash flow. So you have leftover cash after all your expenses have been paid with your rental income, and that cash goes into your pocket. So let's just have a look at our fact in a property at three hundred thousand. It can be three hundred, it can be six hundred, doesn't matter. Uh, Put a 90% loan, so 10% deposit, interest only 3%. Average rate around the, at the moment. Now, as you can see, it's a 6% yield. Property is averaging 3,800 clear. After all expenses, positive cash flows are 3,800 in your pocket. Now, let's have a think about this. Let's say that interest rates rise, go from 3 to 4%, and you're on interest only, and the property's at 6% yield. Now this property now is twelve hundred, putting twelve hundred dollars now in your pocket. So your your cash flow is dropped. Okay. Now let's just say it's gone five percent. As you can see now it's negative fourteen hundred. Now if it's costing you fourteen hundred to hold a property per year, really it's not affecting your lifestyle at all. How much money do we spend on clothes and and materialistic goods? We spend more probably than fourteen hundred in a year. So really, it's not costing you any money. So let's go back. Let's go back to 3%. And let me put this back to principal and interest. So now you're paying principal and interest and it's a 90% loan. Why I'm doing 90% loan? Because the majority of people that purchase property, even if it's an investment or home, go at 90%. Now, at 3%, this is negative 1,600. So it's negative 1,600. So it's, you have to contribute 1,600 a year in to contribute to this property. So... As we scroll down, because it's on the principal and interest, as you can see, here we go. This is your net cash flow. Every year it gets less and less. And then eventually in year four, it's actually positive cash flow putting money in your pocket because you're paying down the debt. So you're paying down the debt, the money that you borrowed from the banks. But let's just keep it simple. Okay, this is a 6% yield, mind you. So taking in consideration, still 6% yield. Let's say now we go from a 3%, to four percent in this matter of time. Now it's three thousand dollars, and you know three four thirty four hundred. So thirty four hundred dollars out of your pocket you have to contribute every single year. Still not too bad, you know. It is still surviving, depending on you know depending on your personal situation. Okay. Now let's say it goes to five percent. A six percent yield year. We haven't changed the the rental income. It's still a six percent yield, negative five, just over five thousand dollars. So five thousand dollars, it's costing you to hold this property. But mind you, you're paying the principal and interest on this property. Now, stay with me here because I'm going to take this back to three, and I'm just going to go back to interest only. Now, for people that don't know what interest only is, interest only is when you are just paying interest on the on the money that you've borrowed from the bank. You're actually not paying the debt down. So, you're, if you're as you can see, these people here hypothetically they've purchased this property. They've got a loan of two seventy. That loan they're not paying it back when they're on interest only. So on principal and interest they are. Some of that that payment that they're contributing every month is paying down this two seventy. But let's 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 just knock this back. Now in Australia. Or in Melbourne, it's in the average yield is 3.5%. So it's not 6%. 6% is very strong. So let's let's just go let's go at at two hundred dollars now, which will take it to a three point four. Well, let me just put up a bit more so we can be a bit three point four. Now, as you can see, it's three point six. Now, on interest only already, it's negative two thousand eight hundred dollars. So on interest only at 3%, it's negative $200 at 10% deposit, uh, two, sorry, 2,800. Now let's go to uh, 4%.
a four percent if interest rates rise at four percent on this for this person's proper property which is already negative geared it's negative it's negative five thousand and a half so that's a you know a yield of three point six percent negative five thousand five hundred now let's go to five percent let's say it goes to five percent and what happens now and what it looks like on the interest only mind you eight thousand one hundred now look five thousand eight thousand depending on people's situation this can start to you know depending affect your lifestyle okay now let's just go back to three thirty percent and i want to show this so people get a bit of clarity and they can see okay what's the difference with interest only and um and principal and principal and interest principal and interest your your repayments are higher now at a three percent principal and interest you know three point six percent yield or three point seven now you're looking at eight thousand three hundred dollars it's costing you a year for some people that can be a lot of money you know if you've got a family kids you know that can you know that can have an impact on your life so that's at a three percent interest rate let's say what majority of people are doing today they're leveraging to the maximum of their borrowing capacity and they think that's the best way to invest in property let's say that goes a four percent what does this look like if that goes to ten thousand dollars a year that's costing you the hold now you're paying like i said before you're paying that ten thousand dollars is reducing every single year because you are paying the principal so you are paying the debt see that 750 that you borrowed that's reducing every single year but let's say interest rates do go up even more let's say they do go to five percent what does that look like on the principal and interest because we don't know what's around the corner that's twelve thousand dollars that property is costing you the whole every single year now for some people that's a lot of money majority of people you know and the, the cash out twelve thousand dollars have your own pocket that you have to contribute you have to pay for this property that can affect your lifestyle and this is why we use our strategy of the tantalizing trio cash flow positive properties high growth areas value add because if it's already cash flow from day one and the property is not affecting your lifestyle if the interest rates do go up to four or five percent hypothetically let's take this back to 350 because 350 makes it a six percent yield 350 dollars a week i mean that's five grand it's out of your pocket on a principal and interest so that's just being conservative being safe being safe and you're paying down the debt so what you're doing here you're reducing your debt every single year and as you can see you know you start to pay down that debt now if we look at here this property is negative five thousand dollars a six percent yield you put a ten percent deposit you know this property in, in 10 years time it's still you know you've got 840 dollars that's costing you a year to hold this property in year 10 if you just go by the way of you know purchasing that property and that's at a five percent interest rate five percent interest rate now if it was at a three percent interest rate and you're locked it in you know you look at it your your the payments on this property you can start to see after four years that property is actually going to cost start putting money in your pocket so you're reducing that debt so this is what people need to look out for you got to look at this not long term short term okay property might be growing in value might be putting 10 20 30 percent maybe growing in a year but if that property if you're if you're you know depending on what you how much you're leverage this is a this is a mind you it's a three hundred thousand dollar property. If this was six hundred thousand, okay, three percent principal and interest. As we can see, that's costing you twelve thousand dollars. That's at a three percent, three point six, roughly three point five percent yield. It's costing you twelve thousand dollars at three percent. If that went to four percent, mind you, because a lot of people, the average price in Australia per purchasing property, fam or um, principal place of residency or fair first home buyers is six hundred thousand at four percent as you can see it's costing now sixteen thousand dollars to hold this property so this is a great little tool cash flow calculator that we use to analyze property and as you can see you know that property is costing you fifteen sixteen thousand in the first year then every single year in year 10 the property is still costing you ten thousand dollars nearly to hold so really you haven't you're not really getting anywhere if the property and it's not actually putting money in your pocket it might be growing in value but it's actually costing you so this is something to be aware of because like i say if something happens if this went to five percent overnight 
you know, that's $20,000. And if you've got a few couple of these properties or a few of these properties, you know, the whole property for $20,000 a year and you've got ex other expenses, you know, do the maths. It's going to affect your life. So something to take into consideration, you know, and that's why we're always chasing cash flow positive properties that won't affect your life. So not just that it gives you the extra income, gives you security. It's like insurance as well. If anything happens, you know, rates go up, you're actually not going to be affected. Okay not significantly as if it was negative geared. So it's something to take into consideration. And this is why I like to do this because this is a visual. Now, watch this again to maybe maybe you didn't get some of the things I was explaining. Maybe that you're still a novice when it comes to investing. This is impactful. This will actually help you analyze property when you're doing your cash flow analysis. Okay, and, and it helps you, I guess, minimize your risk as well, your exposure. This is something to take in consideration. We don't look long term, we look short term always. So when you do this, it's going to help you become a better investor, but not analyzing property.